Hey everybody, welcome to How To Videos with Dr. Amy Gates. This video is going to focus on how to use StatCrunch to do prediction, regression, and correlation. And we're going to answer a few questions to practice. So the first question is, what is the correlation between age and weight? And of course, I'm using a preformed data set that I have where age and weight are two of the variables. The second question we're going to look at is, is this a strong correlation or not? The third question is to create an equation to predict a person's age based on their weight. And remember, we're going to use a prediction equation that is a basic linear prediction equation. The basic form of that equation is y equals b plus a times x where y represents, in this case, the person's age, which is the dependent variable. How do I know that age is a dependent variable here? Because I'm trying to predict it. Whatever you're trying to predict is usually your dependent variable. So this question says, create an equation to predict a person's age based on their weight. So in other words, if I give you the weight, which is the independent variable, you give me the age, which depends on the weight. So because in this example, age depends on weight, age is our dependent variable, and weight is our independent variable. So weight is our x, age is our y. And this is our basic equation. Now what's really nice is we can use StatCrunch to do all of this for us. And here's what that looks like. If I just want to find the correlation between age and weight, I would click on Stat, Summary Stats, and then I would choose Correlation. Then I would determine the two variables I want the correlation between. In this case, it's age and weight. Each time I click them, they just automatically appear on the right side. The variables on the right side are the ones I'm focusing on. And then I just click Calculate, because I just want the basic correlation. All right, well, here's the results that StatCrunch gives me. Hopefully, you can see them. The correlation between age and weight is 0.563 and change. 0.56, we'll call it. So the correlation is actually also called the R value. So the R value between age and weight is 0.56. And that's considered a relatively strong correlation. All right, so that's kind of the answer to the first question. Now, it's also the answer to the second question, which is the correlation strong? And we think, yeah, this is a pretty strong correlation. Our strongest positive correlation is one. No correlation at all is zero. Generally, any correlation or R value above 0.5 is considered strong. Correlations between 0.3 and 0.5 are maybe considered medium. And it really also depends on the textbook or the paper you're reading and also the application. But I would say here that our correlation would be considered strong and the value is 0.56. Now in the next part of the problem, and let me pull it up to remind you, we are looking at creating a prediction equation so that we can predict a person's age based on their weight. In other words, if I plug in weight for x, I can do this little multiplication addition thing and I can pop out their age estimate. Because our correlation is fairly strong, we can build a prediction equation for these two variables. The stronger the correlation, the better or more accurate the prediction will be. If I have a very weak or no correlation, I really shouldn't be predicting one with the other since they are not related, just as a side thought. All right, in order to do prediction, we're going to use StatCrunch and we're going to use something called regression. When we run a linear regression and we tell StatCrunch which is our dependent variable, which is age, and which is our independent variable, which in this case is weight, StatCrunch will run the linear regression for us, which gives us this entire equation. And that's what we want. So let's see how that works. Inside of StatCrunch, if you click on Stat, you can come down to Regression. In this case, this is simple linear regression, where you have only one independent variable, 
one dependent variable, and we want to use our independent variable to predict our dependent variable. So we'll click on simple linear. Now immediately StatCrunch wants to know what's your x variable? In other words, what's your independent variable? And what's your y variable? What's your dependent variable? Again, the y variable is what we want to predict. We want to predict someone's age based on their weight. So if I give you the weight, you give me the age back. Okay, that's all I need to tell StatCrunch, and then I can ask it to calculate this for me. What's really excellent about StatCrunch is not only does it give you the coefficients, but it actually creates the equation for you. This is the linear equation that I need to predict. It tells me that age is actually equal to 5.97 and change plus 0.186 times the weight. So let's take a closer look at this output since it's a little bit difficult to see it's kind of small here. So the output that StatCrunch gave us was the following. It was that our dependent variable that we chose was age, our independent variable was weight. This is the entire equation that StatCrunch built for us. And using this equation, this linear regression equation, we can actually make a prediction. So what is an estimate of a person's age if their weight is 150 pounds? Well, all right, we know that age is the sum of this big value plus this value times the weight. So I'm gonna take the weight of 150 and plug it in. That's what I've done over here. I'm gonna multiply 150 times this nice big decimal number. That gives me 27.96 rounded. I'm gonna add it to this value, which I also rounded to 5.97. And when I add these together, I get the estimate of the age, 33.9. So someone who weighs 150 pounds, according to our equation, is somewhere near 34 years old. So this was a how-to video that showed you how to use StatCrunch to calculate correlation and to determine using linear regression how to create a prediction equation and then how to use that equation to make a prediction. We also looked at dependent and independent variables. Thanks for joining me.